Welcome, our dear viewers. Welcome to the fourth day of aggressive spiritual warfare and deep intercessions on behalf of the nations of the world and even our beloved nation, Kenya. We know that you've been blessed yesterday and uh, since that uh, we started coming on Tuesday. And we know that you are continuing to pray even against COVID-19. We know that the Lord God has done something new already. It is only that we must push and finish our seven days program. Number seven is a number of God. It is a number of completion. And that's why by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, I and uh, Reverend Ruth and I, we were inspired to bring seven days that uh, we shall be crying to God, that we shall be crying against the, the attack of the enemy in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Today we are blessed because we shall be talking about how to demolish evil altars. The fact of the matter is that uh, uh, when an attack like this pandemic comes to the nations of the world, it is an evil altar. It, it is either uh, that it will come create a new altar by itself or it will take advantage of the existing evil altars. That is why we shall be talking about the networking of evil altars. We shall be talking about how, how they connect for the evil and the, you know, the solution of the, the nations of the world. And that's why by the grace of God, we thank God because the Bible from Genesis to Revelation is full of, uh, you know, altars, is full of, uh, you know, examples of where men raised altars, where altars are, were also demolished. We shall be demolishing the altar, any altar that is networking, any altar that is supporting COVID-19. Today, we declare to you in trouble in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And maybe uh, before we continue, we want to give you a scriptural foundation for this uh, from Amos chapter 9 verse 1 uh, reverend where the Bible talks about how that altar was demolished I saw the Lord standing by the altar and he said amen strike the doorposts that the thresh that, that the thresholds may stake uh -huh. and break them on the heads of of them all uh -huh. I will slay the last of them mm -hmm. with a sword uh -huh. he who flees from them shall mm -hmm. not get away uh -huh. and he who escapes from them mm -hmm. shall not be delivered amen Though they dig into hell, uh -huh. from there my hand shall take them. Amen. Though they climb up to heaven, uh -huh. from there I will bring them down. Amen. And though they hide themselves on top of Carmel, Amen. from there I will search and take them. I'll search and take Ta them. This, this is talking about the evil, the evil priests yes. that were behind that altar. We yes. know COVID-19 was not created in heaven. Yes. We know COVID-19 is either a mistake by man or a creation by evil forces. Yes. And that's why the Bible is saying that though they escape, yes. even when the altar is demolished. Yes. Whoever is behind COVID-19, yes. if it is a man or a woman, yes. our God will make sure yes. that he judges you by fire. Yes. You, yes. you might run to the, to the farthest nations of the world. Yes. You must hide into the deepest places of this earth. Yes. But the Bible is saying in Amos chapter 9 verse 1 and 2 yeah. that you'll be taken out of that place. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there I will search and take them. Uh -huh. Though they hide from my sight at the bottom of the sea, uh -huh. from there I will command the serpent uh -huh. and it shall bite them. Amen. Talk Amen. about how the serpent will bite them. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, uh, as Amen. we all know that our God, uh, uh, the, the, the power of the Lord is not limited. Amen. It, uh, the Lord is determined and is prophesying Amen. that those that have raised and are using altars to manipulate the destinies of the people uh -huh. of Israel, Amen. he was saying that if even if they hide, uh -huh. the serpent will bite. Uh -huh. It means that even though they go under, uh -huh. the Lord will search them out with the weapons of his warfare. Amen. And it is not new that the Lord has used serpents mm -hmm. before as a weapon of warfare. A Amen. In the wilderness, when they turned against God, mm -hmm. there were serpents that were released. Yeah, that and were that is what them. we are also declaring in Amen. the name of Jesus. In the name if of this Jesus. is a, mm. coming from a place of human Am wickedness, Amen. we are declaring that even the serpents that the Lord has promised, Amen. they will bite whoever is responsible Amen. in the name of Jesus. Because God COVID-19 itself is a serpent. Yes, it is. And uh, you know, the Bible says that he who digs a pit shall fall, fall into the same it. pit. Yes. And he who rolls a stone, that stone will roll back to him. Amen. We are declaring back to the sender. In the in name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Christ. Whether you are a multimillionaire yes. in any nation of the world, yes. we rise today yes. as servants of God yes. and we declare, yes. may you be haunted by your own evil. May you, may you fall into the same pit that you dug in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what is an altar? 
an altar yeah. has many definitions, but mm. one, that, one, one that is very profound, Amen. it is where the natural meets the supernatural. Amen. It is where what is mortal meets what is immortal. Amen. It means that there has to be a natural force, which Amen. is a natural hum, a human being, Amen. is the one who, who represents, uh, who is supposed to patronize an altar. Yeah. And then God Amen. or Satan, depending Amen. on who you pay allegiance to, yeah, yeah. is the one who represents the divine or the supernatural Amen. you're looking for. Amen. Because Bishop, as you talk about the supernatural, we are not only talking about the supernatural power of Jehovah the Almighty. Yeah, yeah. There are other people who patronize altars mm. for evil reasons. Super, uh, evil supernatural. And we declare mm. even them, their days are numbered according to the word of God. Amen. That evil will not prevail. Amen. So it is a place where the natural meets, meets the, the supernatural. Natural, Amen. Where divinity meets humanity. Yes. Where the physical meets the spiritual. The spiritual. That, that is why it is important to know, you know, right from day one, we've been insisting that COVID-19 is more spiritual than clinical. Yes, it is. That's why it has desolated the nations of the world even yes. america is crying yes. because and the worst thing of this about this thing is that you cannot even mobilize the armies of the nations of the world yes again is it we were coming this morning and i was telling reverend if it was physical yes. somebody with it maybe from uhuru uhuru highway would yeah. be seen and people would be shouting him yeah. arrest him arrest, arrest him, him. Yes. but now this thing it could be next door it could be on your son on your daughter but you're not seeing it yes. that's why it is more diabolic yes. more demonic yes. than what we can imagine yes. Yes. We take power and authority so against it, state, and we decree any altar by which COVID-19 is empowered, yes. Yes. and it is spreading in the nation of Kenya, yes. in the nations of the world. Yes. We pull you down today in the name, in of, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm feeling also that an altar yes. is also a place of sacrifices and offerings. Yes, Talk is. about that. Uh, the Bible says, if you read in Genesis chapter 8, uh -huh. uh, Noah built an altar. Uh -huh. Immediately when God caused the, the, the flood to subside, Amen. and Noah realized that he has been saved and his family. Amen. He raised an altar unto the Lord. Mm. And when the Lord uh, smelled the sweet savor that was coming from a sacrifice that Noah had made, yeah. uh, the Bible says that God made a covenant with Noah yeah. that never again will mm. he ever destroy the earth because of man. Yeah, yeah. And that is where he said that uh, mm. a seed time and, and harvest, harvest shall mm. never cease. Amen. And he gave a rainbow Amen. as a symbol of a covenant that he made with Noah on Amen. behalf of humanity. Amen. So I could also say that it is a place where offerings and sacrifices are made yeah. and it is also a place where covenants are made and agreements are established. Uh, covenants are made ra and, ratified, and ratified and agreements are established. Yes. That's why anywhere they entered yes. into a covenant Rako against our health on that Rabasa evil altar that the, the health of Kenya shall be wasted. Yes. The economy of Kenya shall be, be wasted. wasted. The health of the Kenyans shall be wasted. Yes, we rise above in, in the, the sky in the name of Jesus Christ and we break that covenant. In we the destroy the altar upon Rakate which uh, such an agreement Rabo was reached. Uh, in the mighty name the of name our Lord of Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, there are two broad categories of altars. Yes. Two broad categories but talking about uh, the, 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 the good altars. Yes. That is the divine altars. The divine altars. And also talking about the evil altars. Yes. Let us for a minute, uh, yes. you've mentioned the, the altar that uh, was raised by, by Noah. Yes. But I also remember in Genesis 15. Yes. And I thank God because I think it was the day before yesterday. Yes. As you are broadcasting, yes. one of the intercessors, one of my daughters, yeah. was led into Genesis 15. Yes. And it is only this morning, I knew why God was leading her into Genesis 15. Yes. I think God is talking about us dealing with that altar yes. and also raising a godly altar, empowering the godly altar. Yes. Because the, 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 the good altars that we have, Noah raised a good altar, yes. Abraham raised a good altar, yes. uh, and we know that by Abraham, yes. Isaac and Jacob, there are seven major altars yes. that were raised. That's why the nation of Israel is secured by altars. It is. So talk more about good altars and what they can do. Good altars, mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, an aspect of uh, offerings and sacrifices that we have talked about. Amen. Every altar is meant to receive sacrifices. Amen. Good altars Amen. receive free will offerings. Amen. Where you say, I am giving my, uh, and of course the Bible does not leave it open. Amen. It talks about tithes Amen. and offerings. Amen. It talks about free will offerings. Amen. It talks about fellowship offerings. Amen. It talks about all the peace offerings that were written in the laws of Moses. Amen. And even Jesus did not come to abolish that. Mm -hmm. And that Amen. is where you find right now, because because the altar of, of the church mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ is under attack. Amen. And the pillar of those altars, what empowers them, is our sacrifices and offerings. Amen. Amen. And the enemy has been on, uh, mm. has, has gone all the way Amen. to make sure that believers will be coming to church. Amen. But because the strength of every altar is in the sacrifices, mm, it is in the sacrifices. and offerings that are given, Amen. the enemy wants to make sure that the church has mm. come to a place where they are no longer giving, Amen. they are no longer sacrificing, Amen. and therefore our altars will become weaker and weaker. And weaker every 
the, that's why, Reverend, holding yeah. your thought, eh? yeah. that's why Leviticus 6, 12, 13, yes. the Bible says that the fire on the altar yes. should be kept burning 24-7. And when we talk about burning on the altar, yes. we are talking about uh, roasting, roasting and uh, dealing with the offerings and the sacrifices. Yes. So that as the altar, the uh, sacrifices and the offerings are burning mm -hmm. on the altar, mm -hmm. the altar is empowered. Amen. My, uh, our dear viewer, we want you to know that the church of Jesus Christ is the key altar. Is yes. the key altar. Somebody was telling us, uh, and I think uh, uh, you've, you've also heard that, yeah. that... Uh, that uh, the plan that the enemy had through COVID-19 yeah. is to establish new world order. Yes. But this new world order cannot be established as long as the church of Jesus yes, Christ. Christ. I think it is Pastor Chris or yeah, Yacolome yes, that yes. was saying that, that the, the, the church of Jesus Christ yes. is the one that is delaying yeah. and even hindering because yeah. we must be raptured yeah. before this nonsense he begins to happen. That's coming. why the biggest altar that we have in the universe it is, is the, the church, church of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That's why he told Peter in Matthew 16, 16 yeah. there to 18, uh, he told him upon a Upon this, this revelation, yeah. this rock, yeah. I shall build my church and the, the gates gate of, of hell, hell shall never prevail against, against it. it. We know COVID-19, you are a gate of hell, yes. but we Marabo pronounce Shata judgment Rabba upon Rabba you Rabba by Rabba fire, Rabba by thunder, in, in the, the name, name of Jesus Christ. Christ. And we stand on Matthew 16, 16, 16 to 18, Rabba and we decree Shata you shall not prevail Rabba in the Shata mighty Rabba name Rabba of our Lord Jesus Christ. So an altar is a place that receives sacrifices and offerings. And then by so doing, it empowers itself. Amen. And then pass the people behind that. Amen. Altar. I mm -hmm. remember there is a king of Moab. Amen. I, I'm, I'm not really, uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember the exact. Yeah, it is Second Kings chapter Second three. Kings chapter three. Amen. And the king of Moab yeah. realized that the children of Israel were winning the battle against yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And because he knew the power of sacrificing on the altar, yeah, yeah. he looked for his son, Amen. the firstborn son, who Amen. was supposed to be a heir to the throne. Yeah. And the Bible says that when he sacrificed the son at the wall, at the wall, at the wall, there, the Moabites, though they were never supposed to have victory Amen. over Israel, Amen. they won over the children of Israel yeah. by sacrifice. Mm. That is why the enemy will make sure. And let me tell you, the social media is being used by the enemy mm. to make sure that even when they see men of God, mm. because there are categories, there yeah. they are, they are, they is a sacrifice of substance, yeah. which is money, you mm. can give your harvest, you mm. can give everything. Mm. But there is also a higher dimension of mm. present your bodies in Romans Amen. Amen. as living sacrifices mm. before God. Mm. They are spiritual sacrifices. Amen. The singing that we do, mm. the praying that we do, Amen. the declarations that we make, Amen. the preaching that we do, those are spiritual sacrifices. Mm. But that does not mean that mm. we are not supposed to connect with our physical or our mm. substance. Yeah, and amen. that is what the enemy will make sure. Mm -hmm. That the church will be so weak and weak. Mm. And the devil is mad that the church is no longer, the, the proverb is no longer yeah. working. Yeah, yeah. As poor as the church mouth. Yeah, the enemy mad. wants the church to go back to, pro, to, pro, to poverty yeah, yeah. because a poor man can be easily be controlled. I know. But we thank God that we are living in the times amen. where the church of Jesus Christ has been empowered. Amen. Let the devil get mad and mad Mm. But the end time church is mm. going to be empowered because Amen. the altar of mm. Jesus Christ, Amen. which is the church mm. of Jesus Christ, must Amen. be taken and raptured Amen. in glory, Amen. in glamour, in Amen. riches, in wealth, in Amen. wholeness. Amen. And that is the truth of the matter. And I believe that God has empowered the church economically yes, he has. so that the church may in return yes. empower herself spiritually. Amen. Because when you keep on laying those sacrifices, yes. when you keep on building big churches, yes. when you keep on helping the poor yes. and the needy, yes. you, you, you are just uh, uh, inviting more grace yes. and more spiritual empowerment. Yes. That is why we believe uh, that to be poor is to be disempowered it both is. spiritually it, and it, economically. It because a rich man, that's why, you know, talking about building and raising of good daughters, yes. there was a pestilence. Yes. In Second Samuel chapter 24, and I think I preached about it like a week ago, yes. in, uh, in the days of David. Yes. You know, he numbered the children of Israel, yes. and he was not supposed to number them to do that census. Yes. And God was angry, and he sent the prophet, uh, prophet Nathan, yes. and told, uh, the, go and tell, go and tell David. Yeah. Go, go, go and tell him to choose uh, three things. Yes. Out of these three things, yes. to choose one. Yes. Number one, whether mm. he wants the nation to go through famine yes. for seven years. Number two, whether he wants to be pursued by his enemies yes. for three months, yes. being chased up and down. And you know, David had tasted yes. being pursued by the enemy. Yes. You remember at one time, yes. he had run to Nayod of Rama. Yes. So he was a man, when God was releasing that judgment, mm. he knew that David feared being yes. pursued by the enemy yeah. because he had tasted. He uh, had Saul, a four Saul taste. was on his neck. On his neck. His he tried 21 times to kill David. Yes. So, and then 
then number three, he told him, choose whether you want, you want a pestilence of three days. Yes. And then David said, we better fall into the hands of God. Yes. Meaning, I agree the pestilence. You know, famine is not yes. the hand of God. Yes. Uh, enemies pursuing him for yes. three months is yeah. not the hand of God. I better fall into the hands, uh, the hands of, hands of God. Jehovah. Yeah. Because he has mercy. Yes. And that's how the, the angel of death started killing people. Yeah. Started killing people until there were 70,000 people that were killed. Yes. But David interceded and he said, he told God, you know, I'm the one who sinned, yes. not these people. Oh, why, yes. why, why do you have a beef against these people? Yes. What have they done? Yeah. And you know, God, God instructed the, the prophet again, yeah. go and tell, tell the man of God, yeah. go and tell the king to go and raise an altar. And this is how he came. And by the time David rose to go and raise the altar, yeah. the angel of death, death had come as far as the threshing oh, floor oh, of oh, Arauna, oh, the yeah. Jebusite. The and that is where David went and raised an altar. Yeah. And the evil that was in the land yeah. was quenched. The evil, the evil hand that was killing people yes. was quenched. Today, we did not come only to demolish evil altars. Yes. Our dear viewers, we came also to declare yeah. the altar of the church of Jesus Christ. We empower it by these prayers. We empower it by these decrees and declarations. And we decree the altar of the church of Jesus Christ. Right now, may you rise in the spirit. Oh, Jehovah, there are men and women of God. There are men and, men, there are men and women who serve you in truth and in spirit. We pray that they have Virtues, the virtues they carry, the anointing and the grace yes. shall rise in the spirit yes, and empower the altar of Jesus Christ, yes, the church of Jesus Christ, yes, against Lord. the altar of COVID-19. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So it was, it is a battle of altar versus altar. Yes, Talk about is. altar versus altar. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's a time in uh, Elijah, mm -hmm. Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Yeah. We talked about it uh, in one of the broadcasts. Amen. And there was that great uh, contest Amen. because Ahab mm -hmm. uh, believed in the gods of Baal. Yeah. He believed in evil altars uh -huh. and because of the wife that he had married Jezebel. Yeah, yeah. But here was Prophet Elijah uh -huh. who was a representative of, of true and godly altars. Amen. And there was this great contest at Mount Carmel. Yeah, yeah. And, and Elijah said that mm. I'm making an offer. Mm. Let us know today mm. the God who answers by fire, mm. he is the one that we are going to serve. Yeah, amen. And they all gathered together, the amen. many of them, the 400 prophets mm. of Baal. Mm. And they came and, they, they, and everybody was uh, mm. trying to raise their altar from yeah, morning to evening. Mm. They were giving sacrifices, a amen. cutting their own flesh, trying amen. to call upon their God. Amen. But when Elijah came mm. in the evening, mm. the Bible says that he even commanded that after they, they mm. laid the bulls, mm. that pour water on the mm. ditches. Mm. And he just lifted up his voice amen. and said, Oh God, mm. answer me. Mm. And God answered by fire. Amen. It means that altars, mm. the, uh, altars are, amen. of course, are, they carry power. Amen. That is a very, a very mm. important mm. to know. Yeah, yeah. That altars carry supernatural power. power yeah. But every time an altar senses a higher altar, oh, Altar. It bows. It bows. Oh, every time yeah. an altar senses a higher altar. Yeah. That's why we are telling COVID-19 yes. there is a higher, higher altar, altar of the church of Jesus Christ. Yes. There is a higher altar of yes. the men and women of God. Yes. Because uh, as you know, men and women of God are yeah. also mobile altars. Yes, they are. When you consecrate yourself, yes. when, when you enter sanctification, yes. when you are loaded with the word, yes. when you are serious with your God, yes. the Lord God whom you serve diligently, yes. you Correct. become a mobile altar. Amen. And that's why I like the Lord God of Elijah. Yes. Because he he, he was even mocking them. Yeah. You know, you, you know, Elijah was mocking them. <laughs> he said, cry louder. Right. Maybe yes. your God is on a journey. He's on a journey. And then... <laughs> and imagine, <laughs> Bishop, I would <laughs> imagine these <laughs> 400 prophets of Baal could not have been foolish <laughs> to come and disgrace themselves before Elijah. <laughs> it means that outside the atmosphere of Elijah, <laughs> their altars were working. Yeah, yeah. They, there is no way you'd have audacity to come and say <laughs> that I will release fire and fire comes down <laughs> unless I've done my homework very well. <laughs> <laughs> they must have done their homework and Kijijini <laughs> in <laughs> the villages yeah. They were heroic. Yeah, yeah. They were people that oh, were known yeah. to call mm. down fire. Mm -hmm. But immediately Elijah who carried a superior altar. Amen. The name of the Lord. Oh, immediately Jesus. when mm. they, he appeared, Amen. their gods were on holiday. Mm -hmm. They could not be able to function. Mm. They the could fire not function. they were calling could not be able to function. Yeah, yeah. And that is the authority we have as believers. Amen. We are living mobile mm. altars. Amen. And altars are in levels as you say. Amen. Men of God carry government. Amen. Gadada, men Ma of God also mm. carry divine authority. Amen. They are God's representative on earth. Amen. That is when you interact with the true man of God. Yeah, yeah. There is always a divine exchange. Amen. There is virtue. Amen. There is healing. Amen. There is grace. Amen. There is prosperity. Even Amen. if you are not prosperous, when mm. you come into contact with the true man of God, true man of people God. will begin to say that in that church mm. they give people money. Amen. It is not money because the, Amen. the higher the altar, Amen. the more poverty bow. Amen. The higher the altar, Amen. the more sicknesses bow. Witchcraft. Witchcraft Name bows. it. Anything, it, anything must anything. bow to a superior altar. Yes. And this is the altar that was in Paul. Yes. You know, in Acts of uh, Apostles chapter 19, yes. you know, there were the sons of Sceva. Yes. And, uh, 
at one time they wanted to imitate yes. the, the casting out of demons. Yes. And they saw a madman. And they said, In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. whom Paul preaches, yes. we command you get, <laughs> get out. out. They didn't know that Paul was standing on a superior altar. Yes, and was. he had become a personified and altar. Demons knew mm. that very well. Yeah, yeah. And the <laughs> demons asked and challenged them. Yeah. They said, Paul, we know. know yeah. Jesus, we know. Yeah. Who are you? They yeah. were crushed. Yeah. They were beaten yes. until they went Actually home. Naked. Undressed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. They were undressed. There are many it was people a public even shame. Today they have Amen. been undressed by evil altars. Amen. But we came for a rescue mission. Amen. In case the devil has undressed you, Amen. we come in agreement with oh, yes, the carriers of holy altars. Amen. And we declare in Jesus' name, Amen. may your nakedness be clothed. Amen. 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 Jesus may you name. be covered. May you be covered. May, may you be covered in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. So we, we are talking about good altars, good altars. divine altars, divine as altars. opposed to evil altars. Because when we talk too much about evil altars, but this reminds me, yeah. even as we are talking about good uh, versus evil altar, yeah. there was an altar that had wasted Israel yes. in the days of the man called Gideon. Yes. The Bible says in uh, Judges chapter 6 yes. that for six years yes. they were oppressed by the Midianites, Midianites the Amalekites, yeah. and yes. the children of the East. The children yeah. of the East are the Philistines. Yeah. And you know, as they were, pl they were planting, and immediately they entered harvest. Yeah. The harvest will be hijacked by the Midianites, the Amalekites, and the children of the oh, East. Yeah. Talk about that, that altar that was in Gideon's father's house. And then mm -hmm. uh, the most interesting thing uh -huh. is that the children of Israel uh -huh. would hide in holes. Uh -huh. They would hide every time the Amen. Midianites would come. Amen. It means they were defenseless. Uh -huh. Because by that time, mm. Israel had turned from the true God. It's true. Because every time you mm. turn away from the true God, yeah, and yeah. you are no longer walking mm. according to what the Lord expects you to do. Mm. As you said, you are not walking in a consecrated life. Mm. You are no longer praying. Amen. You are no longer revering God. Amen. You are no longer empowering your altar by Amen. spiritual sacrifices Amen. and all also by mm. your substance. Amen. What happens is that your altar becomes weaker mm. and weaker yeah, yeah. and the enemy gains advantage. Anytime advantage. you turn away from yeah. the true God, yes. anytime you fail to empower yes. your altar by personal sacrifice, yes. sacrifices of substance, yes. you disempower yourself yes. and that's where the enemy takes over. He so takes the enemy over. had taken over the nation of, the Israel, nation of Israel for six years. And people that mm. were supposed, they had mm. a covenant with God yeah. that never will they lose before their enemies. Yeah. That every enemy that will come mm. against them, mm. he had promised them that 10,000 will fall on one side or yeah, the yeah. other, but they will never come near. Yeah, they yeah. had so many great promises. Mm. But yet those promises were paralyzed mm. because their altar had mm. been weakened mm. by their turning, mm. away, from turning away from the When we God. turn away from God, believer, mm. yeah. uh, sometimes we think that mm. sin is leisure. Mm. You want to be fashionable mm. and mm. you want to belong. Mm. But you do not know in the mm. day of battle, mm. the altar you've been servicing Amen. is the one that will cry out of on your behalf Amen. and give you victory. Yeah, yeah. So in the time of Gideon, mm. at that time, mm. Gideon's family mm. themselves, mm. they had a family altar. They had a family Their altar. Their father was mm. a priest yeah. uh, of, in, in, of Baal. Yeah, he was a true. priest and he had mm. already made an altar yeah, yeah. in homes. And even right now, Bishop, yeah, yeah. we cannot be oblivious mm. of the fact yeah. that there are people who keep snakes in the house. Yeah, it's we true. have had it's them. True. We've there had. are people mm. who water sacrifices to God of true. witchcraft. Mm. And there are also other people mm. who have made their houses centers of fellowship. I know. Where brethren come and break bread together. Yeah, yeah. Where people come and find solace. Yeah. Yeah. So the Gideon's family yeah, yeah. Had, had their father as a priest Amen. and was the one that was offering sacrifice. Yeah. And when God called Gideon, mm. though he not, didn't feel qualified, yeah, yeah. the first thing that God told him mm. is that go and demolish the altar of your Me father. Meaning, yes. meaning that the pa that family altar yes. had eventually become the territorial altar. Yes, it because has. you can have a demonic altar in your house, yes. but it is affecting the whole, the territory, whole territory and region. Yes. That's why for, the, for Gideon to get victory in battle yes. as a mighty man of Vela, yes. he had to go and deal with the altar in the father's house. Yes. Meaning that the father's, the, the, the altar in the father's house yes. was the one that was networking, networking with demonic forces it, and even with other altars yes. that were impoverishing, impoverishing the nation of the Israel. People. And causing, what, defeat. and causing defeat. Yeah. That's why immediately he dealt with that altar. Yeah. The man, the man manifested yes. as a mighty man of war. Yes. You remember even when the angel greeted him yes. in that in that threshing, uh, you know, um, hole. He was yeah. in a hole yeah. where they were threshing uh, uh, wheat. Yeah. He, he was uh, uh, greeted by the angel. How are you, great man of Vela? Get, yeah. And he started to look around, wondering who, who, is, why, this great who, man? who, who is this great man? Yeah. Why? Because when you engage an evil altar, yeah. it neutralizes who your destiny. It neutralizes 
That's how I say we are supposed to be. Yes. So that you could Mama, be a millionaire, yeah, yes. but you manifest as a, you know, pa pauper. a pauper. Because you there is an altar There is an altar house. that is wasting you. Wasting that is life. wasting your life and yes, destiny. Yes. That's why in the name of Jesus Christ, Rakabu we once again come against COVID-19. We know you are wasting the economies of nations, mm. including the, the economy of Kenya. Yes. But as it was in the days of Gideon, yes, we pull you down now in the in name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So there are evil altars. Yeah. and they are good daughters. Yes. Godly daughters. Talk more about what that do godly daughters. Apart from empowering us when we give sacrifices and offerings, what else do they do to families, to nations? Amen. It's very important to mm -hmm. know that as we said earlier, that mm -hmm. our bodies mm -hmm. are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everybody has an assignment Amen. as a mobile altar. Amen. Uh, wherever we go, Amen. Uh, whoever or, or probably the spiritual climate that we carry Amen. will determine what happens Amen. in the family, Amen. will determine what happens in the church, Amen. Amen. will determine what happens in the community. Mm -hmm. So that is why everybody mm. must work out their own salvation. Amen. Because as you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, and trembling. when we meet together Amen. as a family to pray, Amen. the personal altars, the people, that individuals that are gathering together, yes. when they meet together, they become a mighty force. Yeah. But when pa one person is cold, yeah. the other one is hot. Mm -hmm. When you meet, you become mm. moderate. Yeah, yeah. That is why it's very important, and I, I really want to emphasize this, Bishop, yeah, that yes. we have a personal responsibility to make sure that our our lives are on fire for on Jesus. fire for Jesus making sure that you are living mm. a life of prayer mm. a life of reading the word of mm -hmm. God a life where you know what is right and Amen. what is wrong Amen. and you follow Amen. and then there is also now the dimension of as we have said there are mm. good family altars mm. like the way the family of Abraham Amen. the family of Abraham Amen. Jacob Amen. Isaac, Isaac all through mm. they yeah. enjoyed the privileges that came with the altars that the father raised Amen talking about Jacob yes. you know there is something that is very key yes. and that's why we we know the Bible is true. Yes. You know, Bethel had been established yes. as an altar place by uh, Abraham. Abraham. And when we see in Genesis 28, yes. when, when Jacob is running away after twisting, you know, after conning the brother yeah. and taking the, 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 the inheritance from the brother, yes. you know, the blessing of the father. And talking about yeah. that bishop, yeah. imagine uh, Gideon mm -hmm. had not sinned. Yeah. He had not sinned. Yeah. And yet the altar of his father was stopping him. Uh -huh. And Jacob uh -huh. had sinned. Uh -huh. But because there was an altar of his father Abraham yes. that was speaking on his behalf, yeah, yeah. he escaped. Yeah, Jacob, the, the, the altar of his grandfather oh, was grandfather, talking yes. about him. Yes. And can you see, it was not by coincidence yes. that when he slept at night yes. in the wilderness, a big sprawling wilderness, yes. that out of all the places, he landed at Bethel. Oh, That's why at night, the Bible says that he woke up and he saw angels ascending and descending. and descending. He said, Law and behold, I did not. I was at the gate of heaven. A place I, of divine I, I, Yes, because the ladder had angels yeah. ascending and descending, and descending. A place of divine transactions. Yes. So his destiny was shaped from there. Yeah. That's why even when he entered yeah. Laban's house, yeah. the man tried to con him, you know, for 21 years. For he, 21 wa years. he worked for women, he worked for cattle and sheep, <laughs> but finally he came out of that house loaded. Yeah. We are declaring to any Arabu, evil Shatara, altar Baka, that wants Dada, to Dada, waste Dada, the nations of the, the in, world, in that, the even the, that, 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 that the, even the economies of the world mm even the economy of our nation Amen. but if that eventually we are coming out stronger yes, we Lord. decree we are coming out stronger the to the of shame Jesus. of the enemy in, the in of Jesus. Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. go back to Gideon because Amen. there's something in Gideon that is not exhausted yes, uh, so we, uh, when now Gideon came to the place where he demolished uh, the father's altar Amen. people were so afraid mm. because they thought that mm. there would be repercussions Amen. because of destroying the altar Amen. and they said there is something that has happened in Gideon's house Amen. and they were saying mm. that let us wait. Amen. Calamity shall strike that home. Yeah, yeah. But do you know after mm -hmm. Gideon did that, yeah. instead of calamity, mm -hmm. the children of Israel started winning. Yeah. There has been this fear mm -hmm. in believers mm -hmm. that as we deal with evil altars, mm -hmm. there are repercussions. Mm -hmm. Greater is he mm -hmm. that is in us mm -hmm. than the one that, that is, is in, in the, the world. world. Yeah. And that is the element of fear yeah, yeah. that the enemy has been spreading yeah, yeah. so that we minimize the power that is within us. Yeah, we minimize. And we exalt the power of witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. And we exalt the power of our father's house. Uh -huh. beyond the altar of Calvary mm. that is already speaking for generations yeah, yeah. and has never failed. Mm. So Gideon's family mm. was delivered mm. and the whole of Israel was delivered through yeah. the deliverance of our family. Amen. We never know maybe there is a family that carries a priestly mantle it is and true. the enemy would want to target them mm. and that is why there are battles in that family. Yeah. But as the God raises a Gideon in that, home, in that home and our viewer we want to declare mm. you are that Gideon. Amen. You are the mighty man in of your family. in that home. Amen. You will pray them out of sin 
sickness. Amen. You will operate them out of generation of Amen. curses. Amen. And COVID-19 will not locate them Amen. because there is a Gideon in that home. Amen. You are a deliverer in that home. Yes, you are. You are a point of heavenly contact that in that home. Shatter. That's why in every home, there is, you, you know, I remember when you were growing up, yes. even in high school, yes. it, it was said, popularly said, eh, yes. that uh, in every family there is a black sheep. Yes. You know, a, 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 a spoiled child. And they never child. say there is a white one. There, there, there is a white, <laughs> in every family there yeah. is a Joseph. Yes. There is a deliverer. Yes. And that's why you don't know why God has permitted you to listen to us at a time like this. Yes. He has permitted you, you know, he stopped you from any other engagement and business so that you may hear that you are not an ordinary son or daughter in Black that family. Shatter. You're not an ordinary father or Black mother in that family. Shatter. You're not an ordinary uncle or mm. auntie in that yes. family. In You're not Jesus an ordinary Lord. niece or nephew in that family. Yes. You are a point of contact for heavenly deliverance Amen. and even the virtue of God to lad in that family. Amen. That's why there was a man called Gideon. Yes. And when he demolished the altar, the Bible says that he didn't have to engage a big army yeah. in battle. Yeah. They started as 32,000 soldiers. Yes. And God told him, these are too many. They are too many because Amen. already the altar that was causing defeat mm, had, was, been had been demolished. Had been dealt with. When the, when the altar that causes you shame yeah. and defeat and infirmity and sickness like COVID-19 is dealt with, yes. you win seated. Uh, you win seated. Amen. I remember Amen. also the children of Amen. Israel. Amen. The river Nile mm. was the strength of the Egyptians. Amen. That is where they used to go and worship Amen. and throw their sacrifices. Amen. But when God turned the waters into blood Amen. and all the, the miracles and the supernatural power of God that was Amen. manifested through Moses, Amen. their defeat was easy. You know, it is true that yeah. it was their main altar. Yeah. That's why the Bible says, and Moses met Pharaoh yes. in the morning was when he was, he was going, going to, to bath. In the river, it was not a normal bath. Yes. There was water in the house. Yes. It was a ritual. It was a ritual. It was yes. a sacrifice yes. because to him, uh, uh, River Nile yeah. was an, an altar. Yes. Mm. Talk wow. about that. Talk Amen. about that. And so mm -hmm. when when God took and every time you would see mm -hmm. the greatest victory of the children of Israel, mm -hmm. the battle would end in the water mm -hmm. because the altar that was exalted mm -hmm. is the altar of the river, mm -hmm. or the, the 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 altar in the waters. Mm -hmm. And that is why we read in Amos chapter nine that mm -hmm. even though you go and hide in the waters, yeah. I will also release serpents yeah, yeah. in the waters that will swallow them. Yes. Because there are people who have raised water, uh, you know, marine al altars. Marine altars. Yeah, marine altars. Altars in the, uh, yeah, yeah. In the water. Yeah. So that by them, they control the economy. Yeah. They control what people drink. Amen. They control everything. Yeah, but the goodness of God is mm -hmm. that immediately that altar mm -hmm. was weakened. Mm -hmm. The victory of the children of Israel yeah, was man. guaranteed. Amen. Yeah, and when they went to the wilderness, yeah, when man. they had no water, mm -hmm. God provided supernatural water yeah, man. that was not contaminated. Contaminated, contaminated by evil worship. By evil worship. Amen. And that is the truth about mm. what we are talking about. Amen. Their personal altars yeah. and their family altars. Yeah, yeah. And in every family, God mm. has appointed a deliverer, as Amen. we have already said. Amen. And the work of a deliverer is mm. to arise mm. and make sure that mm. those altars mm. will lose their Amen. voice. Amen. Because every altar has mm. a voice. Can Amen. you tell us more about that, Bishop? Every altar has a voice. Altars speak. And they yes. are made to speak by the sacrifices that they carry. Yes. That's why a, any altar that does not receive sacrifice yes. is a silent altar. It is. That's why the fire must be kept burning, burning. on that godly altar. Yes. And by the when we talk about personal altar and the altar that speaks about concerning your life, it is your heart. It is your heart. That's why the Bible says that in that uh, Proverbs 4, uh, 19 to 23, there yeah. are about, that it says that yeah. above all, guard your heart, heart without, without diligence. diligence. Because out of your heart flows the issues of your life. Yes. Because when you talk about that personal altar, it it is, it is, you know, many people say it is that corner where I pray. Yes. That, 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 that to uh, some extent, uh, yes. it is true. But it, the real altar that you have, the personal altar that you have, yes. that speaks over your life, like uh, Reverend is saying, yeah. eh, is your personal, personal relationship, personal with, relationship God. with God. This is your heart now. Yes. So that when your heart is vibrant with the word, Rukabahan. when your heart is full of uh, purity, yes. when your heart is full of good intention, yes. when your heart is pursuing after God, yes. it becomes an altar that the enemy cannot stop. Yes. That's why we don't care whether, whether COVID-19 Yes. It's created in the sea. Whether oh, in, the in the air, because you talked about, uh, you know, uh, even I'm uh, mixing issues here. Yeah. You talked about uh, uh, that, that uh, there are people who raise their altars in the marine kingdom, yes. others in the air, yeah. others on dry land. Yeah. That is why in Amos 9, when it was demolished on uh, dry land, yeah. God told them, even if you go into the to waters, I will send the serpent there. Father, we lift up our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. And we decree whether the altar of COVID-19 yes. is in the air, yes. uh, sponsored by the sun, the moon, and the stars, yes, and Lord. the heavenlies and the elements, yes, whether Lord. it is in in the marine kingdom yes, or even on dry land yes, we quench you by fire you by in fire. the name of Jesus Christ we rain fire on you yes, whether you are in the air yes. in the waters Babaka, on dry land Babaka. we rain fire, fire on you and we in declare jesus you are defeated name. in jesus mighty name so altars speak 
Amen. Oh, and, and Bishop, speak. there is a point that you Amen. are you are you mm. are talking about, and I Amen. think I, I felt I need to lay emphasis on it. Amen. You are talking about the heart. Yeah. And that is why Jesus said, even before you take Amen. your sacrifices to the altar, yeah, yeah. before you take your offerings mm. to the altar, make sure that your heart is right. Yeah, be, be, go, go and have many issues with your neighbor yeah. and your brother. Because Amen. religion makes Amen. you buy mm. deliverance, yeah, yeah. makes you buy healing mm. without a connection to the heart. To the heart. So it mm. is spiritual sacrifices mm. first, mm. which is uh, comes out of purity, mm. out of a relationship mm. with God, Amen. out of prayer, Amen. out of genuine worship in truth and the spirit. Yeah. So that even what you're giving mm. is only a confirmation Mission, of yeah. what is already happening on the inside. Yeah. Amen. When you give it, when you do that, all those things that you do in church, yes. you lift up your hands in prayer, yeah. you give sacrifices, you give tithes and offerings, yes. and your heart is not in position. Yes. It is not aligned to the word of God and to the will of God. Yeah. It is a wasted effort. It is. It, it is these are efforts in futility yes. because it it is your heart. Your heart is your personal altar. Yes. Your heart is your personal. Even before we talk about the place where you pray, yeah. even before we talk the altar of the church, yeah. even before we talk the, about the universal altar of the church of Jesus Christ, yes. your heart is the key and most fundamental altar. Because when your heart is okay, yeah. it will make you, you know, derive. Yeah. You know, derive a lot of benefits from your church. Yes. It, any, anyone with the right heart, yeah. that is the right altar. Yeah. Any, anytime they meet a true man of God, yeah. they benefit from such it a man. Is true. Amen. Wow, great. Mm. There are people who are sending their, their prayer prayer requests. Amen. And uh, there is one who is saying, uh, she's Jacqueline from Kiambu County. Mm -hmm. She's giving a testimony that on 31st Kesha, Kesh mm -hmm. she believed God uh, to bless her with the fruit of the womb. Amen. And right now she's pregnant. Amen. But uh, there is a challenge because the doctor has said they are fibroids. Mm -hmm. And uh, the child is at risk, mm -hmm. uh, what we declare in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. that the same God that put that child in the womb, yes, that Lord. same God shall preserve the child yes, up Lord. to full time mm -hmm. in, the name, in Jesus, the name of Jesus. We secure the destiny of the mother yes, and Lord. of the child in Jesus' name. It shall be well. Amen. Uh, in praise Jesus God. Uh, mm -hmm. There is Tabitha from Karura yeah. who is asking that the hand of God will locate her for healing. Mm -hmm. And Bishop, there is also somebody mm -hmm. from Dagoreti mm -hmm. who, is, who is crying that God will deliver her from bad dreams. Mm -hmm. She dreams uh, while in the water mm -hmm. and uh, she can't come out. Yeah. So uh, there is a Tabitha and there is also this from Dagureti. Mm -hmm. There is also Margaret also mm -hmm. uh, having dreams about snakes mm -hmm. and her businesses are under attack. These are people who need deliverance. Yes. Reverend, when you talk about someone dreaming it's snakes, yeah. it snakes, it, it, and your dreams, by the way, are determined by the realm from which you operate. Yes. If you operate from an earthly realm, yeah. you'll see those earthly things. Yes. Serpents, yes. you know, scorpions. They are being pursued by frogs. Uh, by frogs. That are bigger but than elephants. when you begin to rise, yeah. that's why we are challenging you, our sisters and our brothers. Look for a church where you'll be taught how to rise in the spirit. Rakabo so that you begin to shift in your realms. Yeah. So that as you enter a realm, there is a realm where you enter. Even dreams will not be coming to it you. What you encounter is visions and revelation. It is true. Because dreams is a beginner, a beginner's level. And actually but, some mm, dreams, as the mm, Bible says, mm, they come out of multitude of business. It is a beginner's level. It is, it, yeah. As a true believer, you should leave that level. Yeah. You know, the Bible says in Joel 2.28 yeah. that the old men shall yes. dream dreams. Yes. Meaning, those that are spiritually ma malfunctioning. Yeah. Those that are old means yeah. that uh, you're not functioning again. Yeah. Old means that you are dead. Yeah. So hear me. So the, the, the level at which we want these people to operate from. Yeah. And this is our prayer for those that are seeing snakes yeah. and even being arrested in Marine Kingdom yes. at night. Yes. We decree, we lift you up on our yes. prophetic shoulders. Yes. And right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we commission you to operate yes. from a higher dimension Amen. where snakes and serpents Amen. and Marine Kingdoms yeah. shall be under your feet Amen. in Jesus' name. Name. Amen. 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 There is somebody Amen. also who is asking that uh, when you're sharing a space in Amen. a house, Amen. Uh, can you set apart a place where you can pray from? Amen. And is it good to give a sacrifice on them? Amen. I think this is an area we need to clarify. Yeah. Amen. That can you read that again? That uh, uh, can someone spare a space in the house? Yeah. And call it an altar where you pray from. Yeah. And is it good to give sacrifice on them? Uh, I, I, I would be a little bit hesitant to tell you to do so. Yeah. Don't don't go as far as uh, you know giving sacrifice there. And and also <laughs> You can set apart a place where, where you, you know pray. you pray because number one, most importantly, it is a place of quietness. Yes. And then there is no disturbance. You are not being disturbed and yeah. you are not disturbing others. Yeah. Don't go to an extent of putting things there. Yeah. When you do that, you're almost engaging in idol worship. Yes. It, it is becoming a shrine. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. 
Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and also when you talk about mm -hmm. sacrifices, mm -hmm. what are these sacrifices we are talking about? Mm -hmm. Because according to the word of mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. there are protocols Amen. of giving sacrifices. Amen. There has to be a priest mm -hmm. who is ordained. Mm -hmm. As much as the Bible says that we are priests, mm -hmm. all of us are priests, mm -hmm. there are, there, all of us, are, there is a limitation to what you can do. There, there is a limitation to what you can do because Christians have opened demonic portals yes. without knowing. Yeah. So that you go to one corner yeah. in your house and you're putting there ripe bananas. <laughs> <laughs> a sacrifice. <laughs> You're putting the avocado. <laughs> a sacrifice. And then, you know, it can go to an extent where the enemy, when the enemy knows that you've, you, you are trending on dangerous ground. Yeah. You are trespassing. Yeah. You can even put that banana. You are trespassing. <laughs> you can even put that banana and you don't find it tomorrow. <laughs> that was the dimension of the Kikuyu worship in many, many years ago. And uh, it is not because God accepted it as sacrifice. Yeah. It is one demon who, yeah. de misty, who dematerialized the banana. Yes. You know, demons dematerialize yes, things. They, they can make that banana to disappear. Yeah, because you are out of order. You are out of order. Yeah. And then suddenly you are opening, de opening demonic portals. Yeah. You are engaging demonic realms. Yes. Don't go to that extent. Make your church yeah. your physical altar. That is why the Bible recommends that mm. each one of us should belong to a body of Amen. Christ. Amen. Let us not neglecting, neglect the gathering together as believers. Amen. As is a habit of some. Amen. Because there has to be a functional ordained priest. Amen. They are called apostles, Amen. prophets, Amen. pastors, evangelists, and a teachers. Amen. And their assignment is to receive sacrifices on behalf of God. Amen. And the modern day believer is having trouble mm. accepting mm. that. Mm. Just like you cannot de decide today that you are the judge of high court yeah. and you decide on cases of people. Yeah, yeah. Th there is a limit to what you can do. There is a limit. And even because we are spiritual bodies, it yeah. does not mean that there are no protocols. Yeah, yeah. There is what is expected of us from scripture. Talk Talking about local assembly, yes. it is a requirement. Yes. That, that, that talks about that spiritual family. Yes. That spiritual family is very important. Yes, we have two families. Yeah. We have the, the physical, Bio, mm. biological, yeah. natural family. Yeah. But there is also very importantly, and uh, you know, when you lack that spiritual family, the second family, yeah. it is like a bird trying to fly yeah. on, one on one wing. You can't go anywhere. Yeah. And you cannot say that in one corner, that yeah. is where your church is. Yeah. You know, others are saying, I worship God on television. Yeah. You, are, you, are, you, 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 you are breaking the principles of the scriptures. Yes. Because as you quoted the Hebrews 12, 25, yeah. do not forsake yeah. the gathering together. There is a benefit you get when you worship alone. Yes. But there are more benefits when you do it corporately. corporately. There is an anointing that you cannot reach yeah. when you are alone. Yeah. But there is that anointing and dimension of grace yeah. that you tap into when you get, do it corporately. How good and pleasant it is, it is when yeah. brethren are dwelling mm -hmm. together. Together in unity. Dwelling together, together in, in unity. unity. Amen. So there is, a bless, uh, there is an anointing that comes when you do it together. But Bishop, there is a question that has been been raised by one of our viewers mm -hmm. and uh, has said that help me break the altar of Watadae mm. and its hold on my husband in Jesus name. Uh, I think the altar of Watadae is an ancestral altar. Yes it is. Uh, one of the biggest tragedies that have happened to the nation of Kenya. Yes. Even before we talk about COVID-19. Yeah. And uh, this could be a bigger tragedy even than Corona. Yeah is the, at the tragedy of when people begin to go back to where they came from. Yes. I can say this without any fear of contradiction. Yes. That, uh, you know, matters of faith are progressive. Yes, they are. That's why when God met Moses, he told him that uh, the, 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 your fathers yeah. knew me, not as Jehovah, yes. but, Je but the Lord. Yeah. But God revealed himself on a higher dimension. Yeah. He revealed himself broadly to Moses than he had revealed himself to Noah yes. and Abraham. Yes. That's why I am saying that matters of faith are progressive. Mm -hmm. When you discover something, even in the Bible, yes. there are some things that you are doing when you were babies in faith. Yeah. But uh, because now you've grown and progressed, yeah. you've left them behind us. Yes. Now, the biggest tragedy that has happened in Kenya, yes. especially in, uh, uh, to people that were blessed, yeah. is when people started going back to traditional worship. Yes. And uh, I, I can cite an example yeah. that uh, even when you see the economy of the nation going down. Yeah. It is God who is not happy. Yes. I was speaking about it uh, with an intercessor in the U.S. Yeah. in the month of November last year yeah. because I found the people in the U.S. also had that big challenge. Yeah. Why are people going back to traditional worship? Yes. Why are people going to Watadai? Yeah. Can I tell you something? When the, a community I know in Kenya that was so blessed, they used to control business in Nairobi. Yeah. They used to be the ones flying to Dubai almost twice in a month. Yeah. When God saw that they forsook him because, because they, bought, the they bought Prados, yeah. they bought big houses, yeah. they built in Rwai and every they built in Rwai and yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. And every weekend they were sacrificing God. Yeah. God withdrew his 
by his grace yeah. and his blessings were withdrawn. Yeah. That's why the same men, if you come to Nyamakema, yeah. if, you, if you go to Nyamakema, yeah. if you go to Kerenyaga Road, many, yeah. many shops are now closed. Why? Yeah. Because the grace that prospered these people, yeah. God had prospered them and prospered that community so that they might be the key financiers yeah. of the move of God in the nation of Kenya. That's, That's why I, I am praying for this sister that your husband, you see the light again. Yeah. That, and and, and, and the, the, I'm challenging you also, dear sister, that day and night, continue praying. Yeah. And the number one thing that you should do, break the covenant that your husband has with Guatadai. Yeah. Because it is a covenant they enter into. Yeah. Anywhere you see blood being shed, yeah. anywhere you see uh, animals being sacrificed, yeah. that is a covenant and a raising of an altar. That, that's why I'm not taking it for granted yeah. when men are giving goats in Kenya. Yeah. And I'm speaking not as a politician. Yeah. I'm speaking as a prophet and, and as an agent of heaven. Yeah. That where, where you see goats being uh, slaughtered, yeah. where you see people giving those rituals, yeah. it is not a, a small thing. Yeah. It is a serious matter. Father, in the name Father of Jesus Christ, we take power and authority yes, against every demonic altar yes. that is raised in that house. Yes. That altar of water dai yes. that is tormenting that family. Yes. We come against you by the Father, power in the blood of Jesus. We raise the sword of Jehovah against you and we decree that family is not going back uh, to where yes. we came from hundreds yes, of years Lord. ago yes, in the name of Jesus Christ yes, father we empower that sister from this broadcast yes, and we decree receive grace and receive fire grace even and to fire. torment that altar even to Jesus. pull it down yes, in Jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 we were talking uh, just before the broadcast amen. Uh, uh, continued amen and you talked about the relationship between altars and gates yeah. and that is an area I know you're very key on mm -hmm. and you're very knowledgeable on can amen. you tell us more bishop about uh, altars? And gifts. Amen. Uh, there, there, are, there are four or five major things that rule this life. Yes. The life that we live in. Number one is what we call voices. Yes. Number two, and I want you to note at home, number two, these are things that rule this life that we live in. Yeah. Uh, number one is voices. Yes. Number two is what we call laws or decrees. Yes. And these are also called principles. Yes. Number three is what we call altars. Yes. And number four, they are what we call gates. gates. And number five is what we call thrones. Thrones. Those, so hear me, anywhere you see an altar, yeah. it is either networking with a gate yeah. or a throne. Oh, yeah. That's why in Revelation chapter 8, read verse 1. In Revelation chapter 8, so that we may know that altars do not exist in isolation. They don't exist in isolation. In isolation. They are empowered by thrones yeah. and they are also empowered by gates. And voices. Altars and gates. Yes. No, no. Mainly, yeah. altars are empowered by gates yeah. and thrones. And thrones. Mm. Revelation chapter 8 and verse 1. One, yeah. When he opened the seventh seal, yeah. there was silence in heaven Amen. for about half an hour. Amen. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, yeah. and to them were given seven trumpets. Mm -hmm. Then another angel, mm -hmm. having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. Mm -hmm. He was given a much incense that mm -hmm. he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints. This is the processing of our prayers in heaven. Once you pray, what happens? Uh -huh. Upon the golden altar, which uh -huh. was before the throne, mm -hmm. and and the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints mm -hmm. ascended before God Amen. from the angel's hand. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. the angel took the censer, mm -hmm. filled it with fire from the altar, mm -hmm. and threw it to the earth. Mm -hmm. And there were, there were noises, mm -hmm. thunderings, mm -hmm. lightnings, mm -hmm. and an earthquake. The, this, this is now the connection because there was an altar, and yeah. before that altar, there was a throne. There was a throne. So that, that means that altars do not exist in, uh, in isolation. Yes, this don't. is the interrelationship between altar and thrones. Yeah. The altar will, be, um, will receive sacrifices from the throne. Yeah. The man seated on the throne, yeah. he will sacrifice. That's why the presidents of nations know this secret. They do. They do know. That's why you have you, you find that presidents will either be true churchgoers yes. or they will be in the diabolic world 100%. 100%. Because they know that an altar is empowered by, by a, a throne is empowered, empowered by, by an altar, altar. Yeah. and an altar is empowered by the throne. Yeah. So that there is that exchange. Yes. There is that mutual yeah. relationship between both of them. So that the throne gives the, the altar sacrifices yeah. and the altar empowers the throne. Oh, yeah. That's wow. why there's in the same manner yeah. that, that that mutual relationship yeah. it is the same manner where gates yeah. and altars operate yeah. that's why it is important to know that gates are entry points yeah. number one even before you talk about entry points yeah. gates are places of authority yes and when you talk about altars altars are also places of authority, authority that's yeah. why in the nations of the world we talk of national assemblies yes as gates yes and they, they can also be altars yes number two uh, all gates are also places of decision making yes and decisions are also made on altars, altars. 
So when you look at altars and gates, yeah. there's a lot of correlationship between both of them. Yes. And that's why as we are dealing with altars in this session, I want you also to rise in the spirit yes. and continue demolishing those gates. Yeah. And uh, th this is what happens. The gates we talked about yesterday yeah. is that the altars, the altars, the altar that you are seeing, the altar of COVID-19, yeah. has is, is networking with the spirit of hell, yeah. the spirit of death, yeah. and the grave. Yeah. And it is the same. The same spirits are also called gates. Yeah. The same spirit. It is the same spirit of hell, dead, and the grave can also be called the gates yeah. of hell, dead, and the grave. So oh, yeah. there is a major interrelationship, yeah. correlationship. Yeah. There is a major networking between altars and gates. Yes. And thrones. And thrones. Wow. But that, mainly, yeah. we are now talking about altars and, and gates, gates today. Yeah. But thrones are also there. That's why when this thing is being followed, you hear men, you hear mention of precedents being mentioned. Yes. Because there is also a throne behind it. <laughs> and in the case Amen. of uh, mm -hmm. David, uh, uh, my Bible mm -hmm. has a subtitle. Amen. And the subtitle is mm -hmm. that uh, David, mm -hmm. Satan, mm -hmm. and Arauna. Mm -hmm. That is the title. <laughs> It means that David as a carrier of the throne, Amen. Arauna as, as a dweller of the land, Amen. and then Satan Amen. at the center Amen. of it. Mention it again, David. It is David, mm -hmm. uh, Satan, Amen. and Arauna. Amen. So it means that when mm -hmm. Israel was facing that plague, yeah. Satan had already raised yeah. an altar mm -hmm. that was trying to kill the people. Mm. And David was a carrier of the throne. Yeah, yeah. And Arauna mm -hmm. also had a human altar. That is the interconnection. interconnection. The throne, the altar, yeah. the gates, they yeah. are all interconnected. Yeah. That's why as you continue to talking about altars, we must also talk and touch something to do with gates. Yes. Because altars are, are empowered by thrones and gates, and mainly by gates. Yeah. A gate also, apart from being a place of decision making, yes. you know, it is a place of decision making because even in the Bible, we see a man, in uh, a man like Job, mm -hmm. in Job chapter 29 verse 7, yeah. he said that he, when he went out to the gate, yeah. he used to sit at the gate of his own town. Yeah. And also, in, uh, in, uh, in Proverbs 31, the husband to the virtuous woman, yeah. in uh, Proverbs 31, 23, yeah. the Bible Bible says the husband sits at the, at the gate. gate. He is known at the gate. It is Meaning actually the control point. The control point. Yeah. Whatever happens. And that's why cities have gates. Yeah. And, uh, airports you know, are gates. A, a, airports are gates. That's why uh, everybody right now, the airport is the, a gate. Yeah, they because we it. said in the physical, yeah. we said no. But yeah. we could be closing our airport, yeah. but demons are still coming. We declare, we rise Mark in Kassar the spirit. Kassar and we also close the entry point, point. of demonic, uh, demonic attacks in into the, our nation. In, in the, the name of Jesus. That's why the gates are also entry points. Yes. Or spirits, or yeah. the good spirits, or evil spirits. Yes. When when Jacob saw the the the, the ladder open, he said, yeah. "I didn't know that this is the gateway to heaven." Yeah. He, he saw the angels ascending and descending. Yeah. They were transacting issues to do with his destiny. Yeah. They were securing his fu future as the father of the nation of Israel. Yes. Amen. What of an individual? Are mm. there personal gates? Like yeah. for instance, because we have said that we are mobile walking uh -huh. altars. Uh -huh. What are the gates in our lives uh -huh. that when we open, mm. we we become vulnerable to demonic attacks and all the network of uh, other altars that are evil can be able to access us. The gates that we have as persons, yeah. number one is the gate of course of your eyes. Of your eyes. What you see. Yeah. And then what you hear. Mark 2, 4, 24, the Bible says, take heed of what you hear. Yeah. Take heed of what you hear. Because your eyes, your ears are your gates. Even your mouth is a it's gate. It's a gate. It's a gate. Yeah. And most importantly, your heart. Yeah. What you let to go into your heart. And of course, your mind. Yes. What you let to go into your heart and into your mind. Yeah. That these are gates that either permit, you permit things to enter yeah. or you disallow them from entering. Yeah. But even talking about entry points, yeah. because your eyes are entry points, your ears are entry points, your, your mouth, mouth is an entry point, your mouth is an entry point, and that's why Jesus said that uh, you should be more concerned of what comes out of you, of you not yeah. as what, what goes comes in, in yeah. comes in talking about the words that you talk, yeah. because out of the abundance of the, of heart, the heart, the mouth speaking. Yeah. So hear me. Talking about gates being uh, entry points. Yes. They are entry points of demons yes. as well yeah. into communities. Yes. That's why when you see, when you see a big pub yeah. where marriages are Raka being tormented, where Mipango Yakado is being carried out, yeah. where sponsorship, where a lot of slaying is being done, <laughs> that, that is a gate into that community yes, of is. demons that ruin families, that ruin churches. Yes. And that's why every such a place yes. should be dealt with by spiritual warriors. Oh, yes. It is a gate. The big places, big demonic places where nothing godly happens. Yes. Those are gates. And what happens when demons begin to enter through those gates? Yes. They form strongholds in communities. Oh, yes. That's why when you do evangelism, you can go to a city and you find 
find breakthrough being very hard. Yes. You find it that you are preaching with all your strength. Yeah. You are preaching from Genesis to Revelation yeah. with deep maufunu. maufunu but mean. nobody is getting born again. Yeah. Why? Because by the gates, gates of the community, yeah. the, the demons entered and established strongholds. Strong These are the strongholds. Wow. Second Corinthians 10, 3 talks about mm -hmm. that uh, though we walk in the flesh, we, we do not walk after the flesh. Yes. Eh? Though, no, no, no. It talks about that uh, our we, that, that uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. No, no. It talks, though we walk. Uh -huh. Second Corinthians 10, 3. Yeah. The Bible says that, uh, that uh, our weapons are not carnal, but mighty, mighty through, through God, God yeah. to the pulling down of strongholds, strongholds yeah. casting down imaginations, imaginations, and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of the word of God. God. And having a readiness to punish every disobedience yes. after our obedience yes. is in place. Yeah. So these are strongholds that are enter into communities through gates. They're yes. established through gates. Yes. So gates and altars are inseparable. That is a very profound statement Amen. that you have said. That Amen. If if the, the, the gate of that community is mm -hmm. a pub, mm -hmm. then there will be disorder, yeah. there will be anti-marriages, yeah. and ma marriages will break, yeah. there will be people who refuse to go to school, yeah. there will be a lot of wasting. Yeah. Uh, on the contrary, yeah. when the church of Jesus Christ is empowered in a territory, yeah. you will find that peace will reign, yes. there will be prosperity, yeah. there will be healing, mm -hmm. there will be hope, yeah, there will be order. Yeah, and man. that is why as much as people fight, mm. uh, you know, the mm. church of Jesus Christ, mm. even right now, mm. look at our education system. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 those ones that are begun by people who profess mm. Jesus Christ, mm. look at even our hospitals. Yeah, man. Every time there is an altar of God yeah. that is Amen. raised either in the medical or in the education system, Amen. you find it becomes a gate that gives people access Amen. to peace, yeah. prosperity, yeah, yeah. increase, and all that. Amen. And that's why we thank God because of a, a church like Catholic Church. Yes, we do. When they came into our communities, yeah. they established places like in Yeri Matari. Yeah. You, you mentioned even Ukambani. Yes. E even in Maseno. Yes. In Kisumu. Yeah. They established schools yeah. and then hospitals and yeah. churches. Yes. And through those gates, the communities have seen the light of heaven. They have. That's why you cannot belittle the church. Yes. It is a gate as well as an Rakadabu altar in the, Shata, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ. And no wonder the Bible mm. says, I shall build my church. Amen. And the gates, gates of, of hell. hell. Could Shem you talk about mm. more, Bishop, about mm. gates of hell? Gates of hell? Gates of hell is nothing else but anything that fights the welfare of the church. Yes. And uh, I can tell you, even governments of the world, yeah. I love the government of the nation of Kenya. Yes. And I want to congratulate even our president, yeah. President Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. Yeah. Because uh, several times, yeah. it has been suggested that churches should, uh, you know, should be taxed. Yeah. It has been suggested that uh, the freedom of worship should be, you know, you know, curtailed. Yeah. But uh, I, I believe, I totally believe any time such a suggestion goes to him, yeah. he pulls it down yeah. because he knows that the welfare of this nation yes. is largely depending on the church of Jesus Christ. Yes. That's why it is a gate. It is the a church gate. of Jesus Christ in Kenya is a gate. And this is a gate that you're bringing salvation. Right now, we are even seeing the people that are following us, you know, online. Yeah. Even now, great men and women, yeah. men that are big in leadership in this yeah. land. Yeah. Why? Because everybody knows that church, the church of Jesus Christ is praying, yeah. and when the church of Jesus Christ prays, yeah. God shall intervene because into the, the situation. Because the church itself is a gate. It is a gate. Woo. It is a gate. That's why he said, I shall, I shall build my church, church on this rock, yes. and the gates of hell. So it is a battle of gates versus gates. Versus a, gates. A big gate being fought by small gates. Amen. Mm. There are many prayer points that are coming, Bishop, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, somebody watching from Bungoma. Mm -hmm. uh, let me begin from the top. Mm -hmm. There is a Eunice from Embakasi. Amen. Uh, she's saying that she needs breakthrough in her family, Amen. that her family broke. Amen. Uh, there is also another one that is from Bungoma County. Mm -hmm. She's saying that she's been having spiritual husband. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about spiritual husband on the broadcast? Is Spi it a gate? Is it an altar? Spiritual husband. Yeah. Spiritual husband is a ram. Yeah, is a ram. <laughs> <laughs> spiritual husband yeah. is a ram, yeah. especially when you begin to become a little bit carnal. Yeah. You know, spiritual husband <laughs> is sexy in dreams. Yes. It's only that uh, <laughs> you're trying to call it by, by a very much, you know, spiritual terms yeah. and even modernizing it yeah. and uh, being a little bit modest. It yeah. is sex in dreams. Yes. Spiritual husband is molestation yeah. by sex in dreams. Yes. And it only, it only happens according to where you dwell in the spirit. Yeah. When you increase prayer, yeah. when you walk by more fire, yeah. you rise above it. It is true. And you when rise you feed above your spirit it. Yeah. and your and your mind Amen. and thoughts of Amen. the word of God. Amen. You realize that the more you soak yourself in Amen. God, the Amen. more of the heavenly dreams you have. Amen. The more of, of psalms and spiritual songs is yeah. what you sing at night. Yeah, yeah. But when you are in the canal realm yeah. and you are watching at a hand row up yeah. to 2 a.m. Those spiritual in the morning, will come. they will still come. They will come. And truly, they yeah. come. As a man we are, we are not belittling it. It is true. We are not belittling it. Yeah. You are saying as a man thinketh in so, his hand. So is he. So it, is, it depends on what you think. Fill your mind with the meditation of the word. Amen. And sometimes I, I, I also see 
that um, you know what you dream depends on what you've been thinking all day long. It's true. For example, if all the day long you you are missing chicken. Yeah. You'll <laughs> most probably eat chicken in your dreams. Like for instance, <laughs> when you are fasting, it, it always happens that when you are mm -hmm, fasting, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you will dream about eating food. Yeah, yeah. And you will eat. Yeah, yeah. And then you wake up and say, uh, the devil was feeding me at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Because as a man thinketh, yeah, yeah. so shall he be. There's also a dimension of the enemy feeding you in dreams. Yes, it is. There is a dimension, but uh, you should, uh, when it is happening oftenly. Yeah. Because being fed in dreams, having sex in dreams should not be a daily affair it or weekly not. affair. Yes. It only happens when you are fighting what we call specified battles. Yes. Strange battles yes. you can be fed in your dreams yes, you can. at a time of strange but yes. and strange battles are not battles you fight from january to, to december, december yeah. it is only a specific satan is so busy is. to concentrate on one human being <laughs> And he has limited forces yes. because he only got a third of the angels that fell from we heaven. We have two thirds. And can you imagine the billions in the world? So yeah. uh, specified battle yeah. and what you call strange battles will only happen to you maybe once in a year or yeah. twice in a year. Yeah. So that's why when you see a lot of feeding in dreams, when you see a lot of sex in dreams, check your personal realm. Yeah. yeah amen. 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 Uh, there is also uh, another one we say that pray for my sister who needs healing. Amen. Uh, she's called Jerry. Amen. Uh, kidney failure mm -hmm. and lupus. Amen. And also uh, there is midred from Kahawa. West. Mm -hmm. She keeps dreaming. There is a lot about dreams today. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is also another one. I've been dreaming, eating good that night. Pray for those ones before you continue. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, we pray for Maradaba. these people that are attacked in dreams. We pray that Jehovah God, in that the name all of the Jesus. night forces that are united against their well-being, yes, let Lord. them be bound in the name of let Jesus. Let them be bound. We release your healing power mm. upon their soul, upon their bodies, and upon their mind. And we reverse Amen. the effects of those bad dreams. Yes. In the name in of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. There is also a danger from Randolph. Mm -hmm. We're saying that the wife uh, ran away uh -huh. and he wants the wife to be restored. You, he wants his marriage to be restored. Amen. Father, we cry for mercy yes, Lord. for Gedenji and Mrs. Gedenji. Amen. And we pray, Jehovah God, what is standing, whatever is standing between both of them, yes, Lord. Jehovah God, let it be judged by your fire. Amen. If one of them is in the wrong, Yes. Jehovah God, let there be a personal correction Amen. so that they will come back to themselves and build a home and a family. Amen. We pray for your grace and mercy upon that family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 There are several questions about maybe around seven Amen. that are asking, how do I destroy my father, the altar of my father's house? What, what you need, every demolition of an altar yes. involves, number one, identifying the altar. Yes. You must locate it. For example, in families, there are altars that sponsor poverty. Yes, there are. Constant poverty in families. Yes. There are altars that sponsor failure. And strange enough, there are altars that sponsor evil patterns. Yes. You find in a family, in families, all the men you'll be wasted yes. by alcohol, for example. All the ladies are doing very well. Yes. In other families you go, you find that all the ladies are doing extremely well. well. All, all the men are doing extremely well. well. All the ladies are doing very bad. Yeah. It is an altar that is enforcing a demonic pattern. Or you find that mm -hmm. none of them is educated mm -hmm. when they reach a particular level, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. let's say like from four. Mm -hmm. Money disappears. Yeah, yeah. The academic embargo. None of them can be able to go. There is no graduate. The, it is like there is a line of limitation. Line of so limitation. number one, you must identify. Yes. And you must know before you go into warfare, you must know this is the altar I'm dealing with. Yes. And this is what it does in our family. Yes. Number two, number two, number two, and th this is very important. Yes. You must identify in the spirit yeah. the evil priest behind every altar. Oh yes. Because behind every evil altar, there, there is, is a, a demonic priest. priest. Yeah. And what do you do? You begin by decapping him, removing the cap of authority. Shatter. In, in prayer, and especially when you're fasting and praying, because you cannot deal with sensitive issues of altars without fasting and praying. Yes. You must fast and pray so that you enter into a realm of empowerment. Yes. So you, you locate the, the authority yes. upon which, you know, when the disciples were preaching, when the apostles were preaching in Acts of Apostles, mm -hmm. they would always be questioned, by whose authority, authority are you are doing, doing these things? things? So yes. you must question that demonic priest, is by whose authority? authority? Is it, is is it, it witchcraft? Is, is it, it parental, evil foundational? Yeah. Is, is it all those uh, yeah, so that way. you deal, yeah. you deal with the cape of authority. Yes. And then from there, you begin to derobe him. Mm -hmm. you, you remove the rope because the, the rope, the rope talks about the garment of priesthood. Oh, right you must Baha begin Baha. to remove that. You must begin to, to render him naked in the in spirit. The that Jesus. I remove your, your garment of priesthood. Yes. I derobe you in the spirit. Barabu and then you set that gam, those garments on fire. Yeah. Then after that, you begin to uh, terminate his own assignment. Yes. 
when you begin to terminate the assignment, it is what he's doing in the family. Yes. The assignment of rendering people poor. Yeah. The assignment Sickness. of hindering marriages. Yes. The assignment of educational embargoes. Yes. Then the assignment of premature death. Yes. The assignment of uh, you, you know accidents, yeah. repeated accidents that have follow a pattern, yeah. a calendar pattern in every Rise year. Yeah, yeah. Season. So so you yeah. deal with the evil pattern, and then from the, 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 the I mean the evil assignment. Evil then assignment. from the evil assignment, you begin to terminate the program. The program. Because every evil priest has a program yeah. that this is what I'll be doing every tomorrow in every 10 years every every 20 years yeah. this is what I'll be doing yeah. so you deal with the enemy uh, from uh, decaping him from uh, all the way to the to the government all the way to terminating the assignment and also all the way to making sure that you distort the the, the demonic program and prayer is very critical Amen. in all this yeah yeah because you cannot deal with an altar when you yourself you are not sanctified uh -huh. and number two you do not have the spiritual power yeah, yeah. Uh, to deal with it uh -huh. so after you do all mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. what is the praise of the man of God yeah. or probably a, pri a godly priest yeah. in this as you destroy your father's altar. I would, I would like to say that, uh, you know, there's the issue of trespassing yes. in spiritual warfare. Yes. That uh, if you know that you don't have what it takes, yes. look for a man of God. Look for a man of God who knows warfare. Yes. Look for a bishop. Look for a pastor. Yeah. Like now, Reverend, I know what you do in this church. Yes. Come, come to someone like uh, Reverend Ruth yeah. and uh, narrate to her what happens yeah. so that uh, you don't go to fight as a juvenile in true. a battle that is bigger than you. Yes. Because you could be engaging into a battle that will cause a lot of counter attacks. And then sometimes people have died. So yeah. you must be able to gauge the intensity of, of the, the warfare, warfare you are engaging into. Yes. Th that's why we say choose your battles wisely. Mm. And I've had, uh, and it has really worked, and we've embarked on that the whole, the, the, from the last year. Uh -huh. And I've seen even families coming together, uh -huh. repenting the sins that were committed. Yeah, yeah. Because every, like for instance, when we are talking about altars that were raised generationally, uh -huh. it will take now a corporate agreement as a family uh -huh. to say that we are demolishing this altar, yeah, yeah. and we are rededicating our family yeah, yeah. to the right altar, yeah, yeah. the altar of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, there has to be a priesthood yeah, yeah. that has to oversee that. A man of God. A man of God. Who is anointed, anointed, a man who walks seriously with, with God, God yeah. not a joker in town. Not a joker. <laughs> not and a joker in not town. A, the issue is not about what you give. <laughs> yeah. Because most, uh, the, uh, it's not about what you give. It is not what you the give. The spiritual exercises you do, mm -hmm. the unity, the mm -hmm. coming together, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you are heads of families, mm -hmm. the father, mm -hmm. the mother, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. and a wife, those are critical decision it makers. True. And they are gates it is to true. that family. It is true. So when they come together in repentance, mm -hmm. and as you have uh, uh, told us, Bishop, they mm -hmm. come together in prayer and fasting. Yes, do it's true. all those prayers. Uh -huh. They do not end there. Yeah, they you do need not end to there. go and locate a higher altar mm. that has a priest that is ordained and is having the garments, the ones you have torn. Yeah, yeah. The, the derobing you have done. Yeah, yeah. Go look for a genuine man of mm, God somewhere. A genuine and man of God. And go together as a family. Yeah, yeah. And it's important to also carry a sacrifice. Don't be deceived. Mm. Altars are not raised without mm, a sacrifice. A sacrifice, yeah. And sometimes it is mm. you who determines according to your ability. Yeah, yeah. When Jesus was being dedicated, mm. Mm -hmm. uh, and even in Israel, when they were dedicating, they were given instruction. Yeah, that yeah. If a family has the ability, come yeah. with a lamb. Yeah, yeah. A family that did not have ability, come yeah. with a pigeon. Yeah. Come with a turtle dove. It is true. It is according to your ability. Amen. And it should never be forced. Mm. There should never be a mm. figure to it. Amen. But so that you make it complete. Because yeah, yeah. we said every altar has a voice. Yeah, it is true. Go to an altar that carries a mm, great voice. A great and voice. as you go there, it's the true. altar will be demolished. Amen. You do not need to go and build another mm. one that you take avocado like it Bishop was telling us. You only need to go and make sure that after mm. you demolish that altar, mm. that you begin to empower and enthrone Jesus in your home. Yeah, it's you true. You begin to have fellowship in your home. Yeah, you yeah. begin to have Thanksgiving services yeah, yeah. where you exalt God together as a family. It's true. When somebody does well in a family, mm. you will not be giving credit to hard work. Yeah, yeah. You will be coming together as a family and saying, look and what God, God has, has done. done. Look at what and the Lord has done. that is how you empower mm. your family Amen. altar. That's why we have churches and we have men of God. Amen. Genuine, true, anointed men of God. Men who have a personal walk and talk and with God. And it's important to know mm. that, that it is important yeah. that that man has a place. Amen. Has and he has a, a place. And he has a pastor's testimony. Yes. You know, the pastor's testimony is the one that uh, Samuel talked about. He said, before he died, he said, I've yeah. not stolen any, any man's camel. Yeah. I've not stolen any oxen. Yeah. You know, and Paul talked about it again yeah. before before he, he, he quit ministry. Yeah. He got out of the scene. So you need a man of God who has a pastor's testimony so that uh, you tap the gate. And by the way, Deliverance is all about grace. It is. The grace that is carried in that house. Yeah. The grace that is carried by the man of God. And mm. in Hebrews chapter 1, mm. the Bible says in verse 7, 
and of the angels, he says, who makes angels his angels, uh, his angel spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. It, it is not related to what uh, to to altars, but it is it is just a sign that. God releases angels as ministering mm, mm, spirits, spirits on, so on, on in, his own altars. So in his mm. altars, they yeah. have angels that minister in good altars. Yeah, yeah. And in evil altars, they yeah. are demons. Yeah, yeah. Can the bishop elaborate more mm. about demons and mm. angels yeah, yeah. when it comes to altars? Uh, our dear viewers, we want you to know that number one, yeah. COVID-19 is a demonic attack. Yes, it is. That one without any doubt. Yes. Uh, we started the, the, the program the seven days program on Monday yeah. by saying that uh, this is not manufactured in heaven. Yes, it but is. But uh, God might have withdrawn his hedge of protection. Yes, it is. Because of the things that people have done. Mm. The, 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 the gay marriages. Yeah. Talking about the rebellion by man. Yeah. Worldwide. Where, where men had even come to a point of thinking that man can create another man. Yes. Scientifically speaking. Yes. And therefore, God has removed his hedge. And the demonic spirits have taken advantage of producing and manufacturing an attack called COVID-19. Yeah. Having said that, I, I, I want our dear viewers to know that uh, when we talk about COVID-19 operating from a demonic altar. Yes. Every demonic altar is powered by demons, yes. by evil spirits. Yes. And that's why we thank God for the sister who asked, how do I deal with the evil altar of, in my father's house? Yes. There, there must be what she had seen yeah. to conclude that uh, there is an evil altar in her father's house. Yeah. So number one thing that you do to the demons, uh, even as we, we are talking today, it's like uh, we're in a deliverance class. Yes, but yeah. we thank God because of enlightenment. People yeah. are saying, including our own sister from uh, Australia, yeah. she's uh, writing and saying, my eyes are opening. Yes. So, uh, uh, so number one thing that you do to the demonic spirits is that you bind them. Yes, you bind them. You bind them. You must bind every spirit. And every spirit is bindable. Yes, I remember is. yesterday we talked about Matthew 18. Yeah. That whatever you bind on earth shall... 18, 18. Yeah. Whatever you bind on earth, 18, 18 to 19. Mm -hmm. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound, bound in, in heaven. heaven yeah. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loose, loose in, in heaven. heaven. So number one stage mm -hmm. is that you must bind that spirit. Yes. So our dear viewers, it is our duty 24-7. Even before before the, the, the cabinet secretary talks about the increase in numbers, yes. the increase in uh, the, the, and, and the rising of the curve, Amen. we must begin to bind the evil spirit behind this force. Amen. So number one, you bind. Number yeah. two, you must paralyze. Yes. Because, and what do you paralyze? You don't paralyze the demon. You paralyze the power behind, behind the demon. The demon. And then number three, you must know that every demon does not work in isolation. Yes. That's why the, it, is, it is an evil gathering. It is, Just yeah. like altars do, do not work alone. Yeah. Altars don't work alone. Yeah. There must be a, an association of altars. Yeah. You know, that networking of Sickness, altars. Sickness, death, yeah. and the grave. Yeah, yeah. And the, especially when you're talking of altars like witchcraft altar. Yeah. Witchcraft altar will take advantage of a territorial altar. Yes. Witchcraft altar will take advantage of a family evil altar. Yeah. And, and that's why when, when you're so much tormented, mm -hmm. especially during a specified battles, yes. those special battles you are talking about, in a, in a dream of the night, you can have like 10 strange dreams. Yes. This is quick networking of altars. Mm -hmm. So number Number two, mm -hmm. you, you paralyze the powers. Yeah. And then number three, you cut off the evil you communication. Evil the evil communication. Because this altar of COVID-19 is communicating with other evil altars. Yes. So you cut off the evil communication. We cut it off, we cut the, off the evil Jesus. communication. We cut it off any in evil the communication Jesus. between COVID-19 and any other altar, the altars of hell, the altars of death, the altars of the grave, we cut off that evil communication and we render you in communicado. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So number three, after cutting off evil communication mm -hmm. you must deal with the fellowship Amen. because there's the fellowshipping of demons yes. just like there is the fellowship of believers there's the fellowshipping of demons yes. so you cut off evil communication as number three mm -hmm. and then number four you cut off evil fellowship yes. so that they'll not be fellowshipping they will, they'll, no, they'll not together. be fellowshipping if you hear what is happening in the nations of the yes. world you know that once the demon of covid enters Black other Shata. demons are ganging up yes. around it so that they form one major demonic fellowship yes. father in the, Christ, in the name of jesus christ we decree by the Garabu sword that Shata. flames in heaven the sword that separated the separates evil from God. Let there be a separation. Let there be a scattering of demonic forces. Any demonic force that is joining COVID-19 in the nation of Kenya, we decree there will be no fellowship. We terminate that. We cut off that evil fellowship. We terminate that evil fellowship in Jesus' mighty name. And number five, most importantly, now you begin. You terminate. You now after you have cut off the evil fellowship and uh, you've cut off uh, the, the evil communication. Now you command the demon to depart by. 
by fire. Amen. To the dungeon. To the dungeon. The dungeon is where demons are cast. Yes. And we don't send demons to the dry place. Yes. Because one time you could go for, for <laughs> safari, yes. the desert safari, yes. like in Dubai, and you find one that you cast that from devil Nairobi. Is a liar. <laughs> so you cast it into the dungeon. Amen. The dungeon is where Satan will be tied, yes. will be held yeah. until the judgment day. Yes. So you cast it into the dungeon yes. until the judgment day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Rabu we cut off the evil communication. We cut off the evil fellowship of, of corona Christ. and the demons that are related Amen. to it. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Rabu Christ, we now Rabu command Rabu you COVID-19, depart by fire Rabu to the dungeon until the, the judgment day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. 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 Bishop, we are mm -hmm. almost coming to the close, but Amen. there's a good testimony here Amen. that as we were preaching about warfare and altars, uh -huh. and my brother has started posting saying that please pray for him uh -huh. to come out of that altar, uh -huh. Gekoyo and Mombi thing, uh -huh. saying this, mm -hmm. the Lord must expose the false teachers of the word, those who preach that the gospel of prosperity uh -huh. has no hope. This, their booming business has been affected tremendously. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that the brother has been exposed and wants to come out of that Gekoyo mm -hmm. and, and Gekoyo and Mombi altar. Uh -huh. We are praying that each one of them and mm -hmm. even them, we mm -hmm. declare in the name of Jesus, in the, name the of gates Jesus. of hell shall not prevail mm -hmm. against the church. Amen. As you come out in the name of Jesus, in the we name declare of Jesus. there will be no repercussions, Amen. that the Lord will protect you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We also remember that evangelist in Kirenyaga mm -hmm. who was preaching mm -hmm. and they came up against you Amen. and they are threatening you. We declare and cover you with the blood of Jesus yes, and Lord. we declare your hedge of protection is secure. Amen. We arrest those demons and lock them yes, in the Lord. dungeon in, in the, the name dungeon. of Jesus. And in we the declare name of Jesus. you mm. shall be safe and your family. We cover you by the blood and fire. In the name in of Jesus, Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, there are so many issues about dreams, Bishop, uh -huh. but I think we, have, we must come to a place where we conclude because uh -huh. our time let, is let up. Deal with one or two. Uh, I deal with one or two. We can extend. Yeah. We have like four minutes. Four minutes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is somebody that is saying, pray for me to mm -hmm. go back to prayer and the word of God. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happens to me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, even right now, I cannot be able to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like the appetite for the word of God, the appetite for prayer, mm -hmm. and there's an affliction in her body. Mm -hmm. And she's asking that we pray for her. That is a specialized attack. Yes. When you find yourself, you're not able to read the word of God, you're not able to pray. Yes. And then above, yes. above everything else, yes. you're not even able to eat food. Yes. It means you are under a special attack. And this special attack could be happening to you seasonally. It could be coming at a particular time. It's only maybe that you are not a little bit, you know, you know, observant. But if you are a little bit observant, yes. you could see there is something that triggers it at a particular time of the year, mm -hmm. or even something that just triggers it. Yes. Father, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, we lift up our hands in prayer, which, it, because for this reason we yes, came Lord. to this broadcast, yes, to empower your people. Yes, and now in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. we pray against that spirit of backsliding, yes. and we pray be set on fire in your heart now, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Let yes, there be revival in your heart, heart. in the name of Jesus Christ. We also pray for a touching of your body. May your body rise up again in appetite, in ability to eat, and even one receive your miracle right now in Jesus mighty name. Amen. There Amen. is also another one, I withhold her name. She's saying how does she break the altar of prostitution and alcoholism uh -huh. in her husband's route? Mm -hmm. Because they started manifesting after 12 years of a happy marriage uh -huh. from nowhere he started taking alcohol and has become promiscuous. Uh, she, she's the one taking... Pro the, hu the husband. The husband. Yeah. Who is taking alcohol and is a the prostitute. Husband. There the is husband. A, there, there is a history of, uh, mm -hmm. of, of that happening in his family uh -huh. where they take alcohol and they get into prostitution uh -huh. and after 12 years of a happy marriage, yeah. the husband has just started. Mm -hmm, has yeah. just started. Yeah. Meaning there is a pattern in the family. Yes, and is. that demonic pattern mostly will come out of character. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes you try to demystify, uh, to mystify, to yeah. mystify, not even to demystify, yes. to mystify these, these issues. Yes. You find that the character, the, the character that the husband has yeah. is the same character that the father had. Yeah. The, the character of loving, you know, Maisha, Kukula yeah. Maisha. Kukula what, Maisha. What they say in Taking Swahili. it easy. Ta yeah, taking it easy. Yeah. It is a character issue. Sometimes it's not even spiritual. Yeah. Father, in the name of Rabo Jesus Christ, Shata we pray Rabo for, for a change of character. Rabo let that man come Rabo back to his senses. Rabo and just like the prodigal Rabo son Rabo came Rabo back to his senses, Rabo let him know Rabo that there is a family to bring Rabo up Rabo and even a destiny Rabo to pursue. Rabo we rebuke Rabo the spirit Rabo of Rabo alcohol. We rebuke him in the name of Jesus Christ. And we rebuke that bad character of prostitution. We decree godly fear in your heart. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And finally, Bishop, there is one who is asking that we pray that she has a brother and a sister who have been suffering from depression. 
and uh, the pattern has continued mm -hmm. that even now her two nephews mm -hmm. also are facing the same. Does yeah, yeah. that mean there is an altar in the family? Th that could be an altar or a curse in the or family. A curse in the and family. The, what, what is required to be done? I've been talking about changing of realm. Yeah. The, the, this person that I've written, yeah. you have the responsibility yeah. to know how your people will get help. Yeah. We join our hands together in, in faith. And we pray for that family. For and we pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, that demon of insanity. Yes. That demon of, of mental depression. sickness and in depression. We rebuke you right we now. You. We shout against you by the Spirit of God. Christ. And we decree, let the fire of God roast you to death. Let the fire of God waste you to nothingness. In Jesus' mighty name, we decree that pattern is desolated. It is shattered forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Amen. viewers, we cover you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We declare peace and grace in your home. Amen. We declare fear will not be a part of your family. Amen. We release the altar of that the altar of Calvary to speak louder. Amen. The power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross to work for you. Amen. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, mm. same time. Mm. And remember on Tuesday, mm. we are all ha having mm. a Holy Communion together. Mm. If you are born again, you are qualified uh, and we are going to share the Holy Communion mm. and Tuesday will be our day of prayer and it fasting. It is true. From me and Bishop is bye-bye. Bye-bye. God bless you. And God bless shalom. you. Amen. Amen. Amen.